welcome guys this is alex Bryce, and this is your weekly fisher report uh, and let's get started with what's going on what's biting around the area now let's start with rock fishing rock fishing has uh changed a little bit here in the past month or so but now we're getting started with the um top water shallow water fishery that starts about this time of the year inside the rivers mouth of the rivers and in the shallow parts of the main bay or any kind of structure you find in the main bay what's been the hot spots well Eastern Bay uh, has been really productive in the mornings and evenings right now. Whenever you have like a colder day, cold, colder morning, and you go in shallow, and we're speaking shallow, we're talking about, you know, 10 foot of water or less, even to down to, you know, two foot of water. Uh, those fish kind of move in there with the tide changes, and they want to feed on anything that's moving throughout those flats or points. Uh, biggest geese I can tell you is you got to find a point where you have shallow water on one side and a deep drop on the other reason why is because those fish are going to be moving in and out from the deep to the shallow water to feed especially in those light you know light um low low hours you know like mornings and evenings that's when when that's going to be the better uh you know time to go for them in shallow uh eastern bay like i said any of those grass flats by kent narrows hog island Peterson's, Patterson's Island, I can't remember the name of that. That's gonna be okay. Uh, Poplar Island, it's a classic top water spot there that you wanna try around the rocks there. Any of the south side points uh, will be great. Thomas Point, the lighthouse itself, the Bay Bridge pilings, the rock piles there have been pretty productive in the afternoon. Some of the lures I wanna show you here are gonna be some of the lures we use for them. Uh, just a walk the dog bait. This is brand new by um, Yosuri. Uh, it's one of their 3D um, series stick baits that will kind of zigzag a little bigger profile to get some of the bigger fish. Uh, this is one of my favorites here when I'm fishing in shallow where there's not a lot of current. And this is, you know, anywhere around the grass flats of Eastern Bay or even some of the structure like the seven foot knoll and whatnot. Uh, this is a Sabeel stick bait and it's a multi jointed um, swim bait that's gonna allow you to give it more of a natural motion to the bait and look almost like a fish. Uh, so use that in anywhere between, you know, um, one to five foot of water and that will work great. Uh, something else is, this is one of the hottest things people have been using around here. And this is a classic popping cork, this is by Harhead. Uh, you have the little popping cork and a small jig with a paddle tail, you, you can just jig uh, and, you know, fish around shallow water and they will crush them. So that's not the only way rockfish, uh, you know, are going to hit right now. Uh, the Bay Bridge has been on and off right now. Uh, you do have some of the spots at Glove Pointer have been on and off right now. Uh, the Bay of the Earth Shoals has been okay, nothing too crazy. They're still pretty far up north, but like I said, with these temperatures, uh, they're going to be flooding out. Patapsco River, most of that sh uh, shallow structure area there has been really productive around the Key Bridge. So try those out with top waters any of those stick baits that I show you and they will work. Uh, Seven River has been really productive. We've been seeing that with um, inside the two bridges, the Route 50 and 450 bridge, uh, that area in there, even some speckled trout have been reported from people trying to catch some perch uh, with smaller lures. So that's, you know, your rock fishing there. You control hoses, red, blue, and purple, like we spoke about last week. And the mackerel are still here. Uh, we'll see how long they stick around for, but they are still here. Uh, I'm thinking maybe by the end of the month they're going to be gone, but still troll those size, you know, ones and two uh, spoons like the Clarks or even the Hardhead Bummer spoons on a size of one or two planer. Spot are becoming a little more hard to find uh, now that the water's cooling, but you will find some to go live lining with. Perch are still here, more catfish are showing up in the area. So not because of the fresh water, just how it is, you know, we're starting to get those things. And like we mentioned, speckled trout and some redfish are showing up. We even had reports of even some small flounder around the area, you know, people bycatching them when they're throwing small jigs, like gulps and stuff like that around the uh, shallow water areas. And one of the spots where we've been hearing is this, the mouth of the Seven River. We even heard a Spanish mackerel going all the way inside the Seven River. Not too many numbers, but there is fish there. So make sure you check that out because those fish are moving throughout the area. Bluefish are in the area too. This is a time of the year where you're gonna find endless kinds of fish around the area. Not lots of them, but you will find a couple bycatching, you know, even some black drum we've seen from some guys fishing off the pier in Mattapique 
with shrimp, uh, some small black drums. So there's a lot of stuff going on right now in the area. And remember, there's endless things to do right now. You can go south, north. If you're going for rockfish, go north off the Bay Bridge. If you're going for Spanish mackerel and bluefish, go south of the bridge. Some of the best areas to go trolling right now for mackerel have been on Thomas Point and south of there, even from Tollies to Bloody Point. Uh, those fish are hanging around there. And remember, you're gonna catch blues, rocks, and you know, a lot of Spanish mackerel right now. Uh, let's wait for this fir first major storm and that's gonna change things up. But rock fishing definitely picking up in shallow guys. Make sure you go, go to the Severn, go to Eastern Bay. Those are gonna be your two best bets to catch those rock fish right now in shallow. The size of those fish we're talking about are anywhere between you know 15, 18, and a couple mid 20s. And you know, don't be surprised if you catch maybe a couple 30s as we get later on this week and the temperatures start to you know mild out or a little bit. So perch fishing, um, it's still great right now. We got a whole bunch of perch, perch pounders back in stock. That's my favorite one there, chartreuse gold blade. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, in shallow, right now, you actually want to move towards the mouth of the rivers. That's where most of those fish are going to be hanging out. Uh, they're kind of moving out the creeks. You're going to find them in the mouth of the rivers. Main bay, like the shallow uh, Bay Ridge pilings, any kind of structure on the shoreline there. Start to move a little bit deep to, you know, five foot of water or so. If you can't find them really close to structure, and that's going to be the ticket. Crabbing, guys, uh, it's still great. I mean, crabbing has been pretty good for you guys out there. I know a lot of you guys are catching a little bit less, but bigger quality, heavier quality crabs. Speckled trout uh, fight down south in the Tangier Sound has been amazing. I mean, one of the best ones we've heard in a couple of years. Um, I mean, not a couple, but you know, two or three years since we had that kill. Uh, so definitely coming back and remember the covey and the redfish are still around so they, they, you're gonna have a couple more more weeks for that and then it's going to be over and then you're gonna have to actually go down south to Virginia waters to find them so fishing is great it's not officially the fall but it is pretty much officially the fall for fishing so get out there guys make sure you get the kids out there when they're not in school and that's your fishing report for this week guys you guys have a good one tag us on Facebook Instagram uh, send us your pictures. Make sure you tag us so we can repost them on our page. All right. And you guys have a good one.